not the stars that hold our destiny, but ourselves. That was from Shakespeare. He was born a couple of hundred years ago, a couple of days ago. We yearn for the stars as a destiny, making, taking the odysseys into, through, beyond cosmic infinities, to the heart and souls of you. Life is like a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury and signifying nothing. Bill Shakespeare. Love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. Shakespeare. Golden ages lie before us in worlds wed as one by creative communities with eight billion voices in chaotic poetics harmonies. I just found out about tonight by accident by calling a poet that I met here one of the last time. The ultimate epiphany, there is never a there to get home to. The infinite eternal ohm is being open and creative every day. The best of all hopes is that the odyssey never ends. Let the heroine of those days be Louis, Louise Bourgeois's Maman Spiders, the mothers of all good things and the creative wombs with a view never ending. Weave them damned webs each and every Fubarid days. That's a word that everybody should remember. Fubarid? Go, goes a little bit for, for, further beyond snafu. Situation normal, all fucked up. Fubarid. Fucked up beyond all reason, no rational. So, I mean, we're at home here, but the world is kind of screwed up. Thank you, Phil. It's wonderful. Ciao.